Hey guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to use Video Warp Creator. Shooting a panoramic video with the GoPano Plus Optic is essentially a two-step process. Step one, you need to put the GoPano Plus Optic on any camera and take video, like you saw in the GoPano Plus tutorial. Step two, importing the video files into Video Warp Creator. Once you've installed Video Warp Creator on your computer, you can begin to import your video files. Just a side note that Video Warp Creator can handle a live feed from any camera. Now that you have Video Warp Creator installed on your computer, you can uh, begin to import a movie file. Just grab it here and pull it into the, the dock in Video Warp Creator like so. It'll copy the files in for you. And once that's done, you can select the clip like this and take it down into your timeline. Timeline down here, just drop it in. And there you go, your video is imported into the timeline. This is one of our videos where we mounted our optic on a Bentley. Here you see there's a GoPano Plus optic up here that's the red part, so to get rid of that, what you want to do is select the timeline here so it goes yellow. Select your projection, and then here you can adjust your mask. Just bring it in so that you cover that, that part of the optic up like that. Go back into your edit mode and you can see there that the optic's no longer in it. And it's that easy. Video's done and ready for export. Okay, to export, just go up to File, Export, and you can see here we have a couple different options for export but we recommend you use the 2.0 because it's more web friendly and flash compatible so just click that select the name you want I'm just gonna use video or project and hit save and it'll export it for you alright this is the exported 360 degree interactive movie here in Video Warp Player which is available for free download on our website ic360.com you can see there's different modes here you can use. This is the flat mode. Back to the spherical mode. And that's it guys. It's that easy. Next I'm going to show you how to do some more advanced things like tweening and adding planar and 360 degree videos together in one. Okay, once you have your planar clip imported, you can select it, drag it into your timeline, and you can see it's trying to make it look as if it's 360 degrees. So what you have to do is select it in your timeline so that it's highlighted yellow, go here, select your projection, and change this 361BR to planar, and there you go. You can go back to edit, and you can continue editing from there. So to add the tween, what you want to do is go here and select tween mode and your bar will come up and this is your endpoint point here, your out point. And you play the movie, select your end point and add your tween like this and select your out point. And then if you go back and play it in tween mode, it'll add your tween in as you see there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you have any more questions on Photo Warp, Video Warp, or the GoBano Plus Optic, just visit our website, ic360.com.